last few weeks, there's been a lot of talk about things that happened 20 years ago in your career or in your life. Um, what can you say now about those allegations and how this has maybe overtaken kind of the discussion over the last Yeah, well, you know, first off, this is a joyous day and nothing can overtake from this day. I think it is sad that uh, some people don't uh, uh, understand uh, the truth and the facts and uh, I did not do what has been alleged and I'm not interested in relitigating something that happened when I was 19 years old um, and I kind of like my dad used to say when I was in trouble I can't say it any plainer than that um, and so this is a joyous day and uh, it's a special day and like Forrest Gump said, that's all I have to say about that. Say, this is, this is how it's all in my job. It's very simple, Tom. I want him to go on record that he likes penis. Yes, that really happened. That was Jamie Naltwright on the phone with me, Tom Stokes, the producer of Sports Plus. She found me. She hunted me down on Facebook, stalked me on Facebook. We became friends. And yes, I pretended like I was her friend. Because I knew she was crazy and I had to get it on recording. Don't forget that happened. This is the character of her. Not just at UT, not right now, but going way back from high school. We exposed all that. We exposed Sean King talking to Jamie Notright. That's all proven. Uh, now we got proof that Malcolm Saxon was in a relationship with her at UT. Come on, man. I mean, if you believe this crap that everybody else is talking, uh, you need a mental enema and really clean yourself, clean your mind out and really step back and take a good hard look. Look at what we brought you. Look at everything. Not just me. There's been several few friends in the media on the independent side that's been talking about this. The real stuff, the real truth. 